Hey, it's Mike from BattleMalt.com. Today I'm going to review Brothers in Arm, Arms Hell's Highway. Uh, this is the newest of the Brothers in Arms video games, and it's been in production for, I think, about like three years now, so people have been anticipating it quite a bit. I kind of picked it up on a whim to give it a try. Uh, the game is World War II FPS like about 50,000 other games and it's squad based and a lot more tactical than some of the other games where you're, so you're controlling multiple squads to help lay down cover fire for you while you get in and try to flank the enemy based off of looking at the map and collecting recon and whatnot uh, this is fun for a while and then it gets pretty repetitive because it's all you're really doing um, but for the first couple of levels, it's pretty fun. You're you're telling the machine gun squad to cover you one way. You're sending the assault squad the other way. You've got guys with bazookas covering you and all that good stuff. Uh, besides that, it feels pretty much like any other World War II shooter. Um, nothing too amazing. It feels like stuff you've seen before and done before, but just with that tactical um, overlay to it. Uh, Online play was, it was okay. I found a group of people I, I partied up with and played for a while. Um, each match you you um, you nominate or you pick a, um, a squad leader, and he's allowed to give out orders to the different squads. Usually there's three different squads, and he directs people around and try to get, tries to get you to work together. So if you're just playing by yourself and trying to get people to party up with that actually play the game correctly, it's hard to get people that will actually listen to what you're doing and try to do things. Uh, the multiplayer is basically the stuff you're used to, capture the flag, um, free for all, and just team, um, team deathmatch kind of stuff. And you got games like uh, Call of Duty 4, it's really hard to justify doing the multiplayer and online stuff for brothers in arms um and besides that i mean it's it's fairly solid it's nothing amazing i was able to play through it and enjoyed it for the most part um aiming was pretty easy all the weapons you've seen before like i said um some of the cool stuff is if you do land a headshot it goes into like a slow motion camera and this is a super gory headshot animation where like a chunk of the guy's face will fall off or whatnot and uh, same thing with the grenades. If you throw a grenade, it's going to blow up and chunk off the guy's arm or leg. Nice and gory stuff. Uh, besides that, I mean, if you've played a World War II game, you've played Brothers in Arms. You've, uh, you definitely know what to expect from this game. Uh, it's definitely the best Brothers in Arms game. So if you like the other Brothers in Arms games, definitely check out this one. A uh, big issue you're going to find, or what I found, is you're supposed to care about these people that you're playing as and care about this guy and all the, the turmoil mentally he's going through but ultimately he feels a little hollow and you really have tr trouble uh, caring for the guy and like I'll compare it again with Call of Duty you actually uh, you care about the characters you're playing as and you really feel for them when they're or you feel upset when they're shot and killed and whatnot and this time around it's just kinda kinda not not worth it you're not that into it um, so that's about it, Brother in Arms Hell's Highway. If you like World War II games, you'll probably like this. Uh, it has some chaotic action. You get to drive around a tank, run people over. Uh, but besides that, it's nothing new. It's nothing amazing. And uh, it's definitely not going to change the World War II shooter games. Hopefully they'll move on to something else. I think everyone's getting kind of bored of uh, World War II.